a high-flying math student has revealed that she plans to marry her Tetris video game. Nurul Maja Ben Hassan identifies as an objectum sexual, which means she is attracted to objects. She said she's been in a relationship with a calculator she named Pierre and admits she has also felt attracted to monorails, iPods and a GPS system. The 20-year-old, who likes to be known as Fractal Tetris Hurricane, surrounds herself with Tetris-shaped objects in her room. She said she now plans to marry the game when she graduates from the University of Florida in two years. The maths student, from Orlando, Florida, has even penned love songs about her feelings for Pierre and Tetris. Neural started a relationship with the puzzle game in September 2016 and sometimes spends up to 12 hours a day playing it on websites, her phone and her Game Boy. She claims she sleeps with and enjoys a physical relationship with Tetris-themed objects including Tetris hard drives and cushions. The student said, I think Tetris is so beautiful, he is about perfection and he stimulates your mind. Physically I get that feeling that people in relationships get, that you know they are the right one. I love him so much and get an immense sense of satisfaction with him. I have a strong connection with him and have invested so much in him. She wears a Tetris necklace, has Tetris-shaped lamps, several t-shirts, magnets and rare Tetris hard drive additions that her friends have bought for her which she sleeps with. Neural said, when I graduate I would like to have a commitment ceremony with Tetris. I want to say I'm married to Tetris and have a legitimate ceremony with friends. I want everybody to be there. I feel like that would be an official thing which would set it in stone and say I love you and want to prove it to you by making it permanent and calling myself Mrs. Tetris. As a youngster she never developed crushes on humans. It was always on robots or objects. She said, I had feelings for monorails, iPods, treadmills but then from 5th grade, age 10, onwards that was the first time I had real feelings towards a Garmin GPS. I had no idea why but I would get really shy around GPS or whenever anybody mentioned them, I was obsessed. I would always try and make an excuse to use the GPS in the car and I would try to hold it clothes. I would do anything to try and touch it and to hear its voice. It made me feel really happy. As a teen she joined online groups for objectum sexuals after reading about Erica Eiffel, who married the Eiffel Tower in 2007. At first she thought it was a fetish but then realized she was an objectum sexual. Neural said, I want to make clear there is a big difference. A fetish is sexual whereas objectum sexual is more romantic. You have actual feelings and feel like you emotionally connect with the objects, I've never been attracted to humans. When she was 16, Neural persuaded her mum to buy her a $150 Dean Spire CX calculator which she named Pierre de Ferme after the mathematician and even took to the school prom as her date a year later. She said, I was doing an advanced statistics course at high school and I saw them and thought that's really sexy. Around the time I fell in love with Pierre I had a strong attraction to math and a fetish for geometry. I called myself fractal, I was obsessed. I was so in love with Pierre, I can't describe how much I was in love, it was indescribably strong. I took him to my prom and I just felt an explosion inside me like a wildfire was raging in my heart. I loved touching his buttons, the feel of his buttons and trackpad. I loved running my finger over that and I used my tongue to touch his buttons. I liked generating random numbers and multiplying them. It was very much an intellectual relationship as well. He's a calculator, how could it not be? She said she did want to marry Pierre at the time because she believed he had consciousness and that he would talk back to her and loved her back.
Her unusual crushes and relationships have seen her receive abusive comments with people saying she is not normal, and referring to her as an autistic freak or saying she has Asperger's, but Neural claims they are bigoted. She claims her family do not understand her relationships, but she has had a lot of support from the online community who do not challenge her when she says she loves Tetris more than them. Neural said. I am not doing anyone or anything any harm. What is the issue? They think it's weird but I ask them to give me one good reason why I shouldn't date Tetris and they can't.